Welcome to this new video. Let's see a way to insert the taskbar on the screen of our beloved Commodore 64. The idea is to use the last line of characters to insert the taskbar. With, for example, the start button on the left and the clock on the right. Using the raster we can switch the screen memory. When the raster reaches line 241 the screen memory is changed and after 8 pixels the original one is put back. But where can we find an available memory? Well, we are only interested in using the last 40 characters. The pointer to the screen memory 53272 points to the area from 1024 to 2047. After that, from 2048 onwards, there is the area for the basic. We could change the pointers to reserve 1000 bytes but we don't want to reduce the memory for basic. From 0 to 1023 there are all the pointers of basic and kernel and Woe betide anyone who touches them. But, thinking about it, we only need the last 40 bytes, that is those that go from 960 to 1023. Analyzing the memory map of the C64, we discover that that area is the so-called dataset buffer, that is an area used only when the tape recorder is used to load programs. Perfect. The important thing is to write only in that area. Let's try. The screen memory is pointed to by the four most significant bits of register 53272 as follows. We just need to turn off the bit 4. Let's try something. Let's hijack the screen area to position 0 to 999. Let's write something in the last line. And then we restore the original screen area. OK perfect we know in which part of the C64 memory to save the taskbar. Now let's start building it. Our intention is to leave free the memory for the basic and the area that goes from $C000 49152 to be clear, where, later, we will insert the code of our tasks. Analyzing the memory map of the C64 we discover that the area that goes from 679 to 767 is free. OK. Let's load our bar at the bottom of the screen. Clean it. Put for example a start button on the left. An important task is to make the clock appear on the right side of the bar. Then let's load the program Todd, which means time of day. Keep this value in mind. To set everything up I prepared this program. OK set the hour, the minutes, and the seconds, and it started.
So the scheme for adding new task is the following. On line 110 we inserted the number I told you to remember. It is important because the tasks are placed one after the other. Another interesting task is the one that allows us to know if a program is running or we are in direct mode. If I type this simple program, and I run it, on the bar the indication that we are in program mode will appear. If instead, for example, I write directly. The bar will indicate that we are in direct mode. And that's all. Thanks and don't forget to put a post of mine and subscribe to the channel.